Hey there, I'm going to be doing a speaker upgrade on my Tesla Model 3. This can be done on a Model 3 or Model Y. I came across a website, it's hepaking.com, and they do a lot of other Tesla upgrades, but one of the good ones that they have is the speaker upgrade for the Tesla Model 3 and Y. So what they have, um, they have different speakers that they have. These are the top of the line ones. These are the Alpine DPS series. They are a woven carbon fiber speaker. They have just massive magnets on the back uh, compared to the stock speakers. And they 3D print their own uh, adapter brackets. So everything is, as you see it here, it comes in the kit. Now you can buy different levels of the kit. You can buy the speakers separate. You can buy the adapters separate. Um, this is an entire kit here. Uh, but the way that this one was purchased was uh, you can, the first kit that they have is just the speakers and the adapters for the doors and the dash. So that'd be uh, kit number one. Um, you can include this adapter ring for a subwoofer and then purchase this subwoofer separately if you wish. It saves a lot of money because um, they actually recommended to me to purchase this from Amazon and then get the rest of this from them. It saves quite a few dollars because they actually have to ship this from the United States and then ship it back to you. So their recommendation is to grab this piece right here. But if you feel more comfortable in getting everything put together, you'll see this is not attached, but these are. Um, you can get the whole kit all done if you want. It, it's really up to you. It is a difference of about three or $400 uh, by just buying it separately like this. Um, I will include a couple pictures. They package this thing. Um, they ta tape the entire box and then within the box, they wrapped each one of these speakers individually, foam packed, and then they put uh, really good padding between them. So this was like really well packaged. Uh, again, I'm gonna show you a, a screenshot of that because I think it was pretty impressive. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're going to replace the door speakers with these ones. These ones here are for the dash. So the three speakers in the dash. This is the little speakers that are on the door. They're the tweeters. We'll be replacing them as well. A couple things that they provide that no other kit I've seen provide. They actually give you the tool you need to um, remove the speakers up on the dash. It comes with that T15, but they have a modified T15. You could do this yourself if you wanted. You can see how they cut one down. That's because there's one uh, screw on the top middle one that you just can't get unless you were to do this. So it's very impressive that they provide this, uh, everything that you need. They provide this uh, smudging tool, a pry tool. Um, I'm going to be using this. I, I believe it's a like an iPhone screen remover or something. That's just to remove the reflector that's on the door. Anyway, I'm going to put in the description the uh, three packages that they have, um, as well as a link to this Amazon uh, listing for the subwoofer. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything, but anyway, let's go ahead. We'll get started. Um, they do provide this foam that we're going to apply on here before we place it on the speaker like that. And then we'll also be placing foam on the backside. So when we mount it to the subwoofer box, um, similar to what they've already done for this speaker. They've already put that foam here. Um, they didn't do it for the, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Look how s the size of that magnet for the mid-range up on the dash. Uh, I'm going to show you what's in the original ones that, while I'm doing the install. I'll, com I'll show you the comparison. There's just nothing to it. This thing's heavy. Uh, I, I think I've seen other videos. I believe that this magnet on this mid is bigger than the one that's within the subwoofer that's in the Model 3. Um, and not to mention this one here. The thing that you will notice is this speaker is smaller than the stock. I think the stock is like an eight inch speaker. These are six and a half. Those are three and a half, I believe, or three. This is an eight inch sub. 
um, but the clarity from these speakers is just amazing and uh, I can't wait to actually turn it on. Anyway, let's get into the install and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to take off this door panel. It's held in with three screws. There's one underneath this reflector. There's one underneath right here. And then there's one right here. And then there's a bunch of clips along here. So I've got this like iPhone screen protector remover tool. You can use something small, I guess. And you're just going to put that underneath the edge there. Just on the back here, there is a up arrow. Let's see if I can get this for you. See if it focuses. Not sure if it will or not. But there's an up arrow here and it says up this way. So just make sure when you're replacing this, just put it in the right spot. And then there's another cover underneath this one. Well, no, there's not on this version. There's just a hole. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this one off. It's a T30. And then you're going to take the tool that they provide and you're going to put it in between the door panel and the, the door frame and you can put some tape here if you wish um, i'm okay with it you just need to get one clip off Let's just get that in there and then pry like this once you get it see that and you can put your hands underneath and just there you go there's more clips up here there we go the door is loose now you do need to remove this speaker that brings it loose it's held in with the same clip that we have for the front speakers oh it's actually different you can see this this is just in there so you're going to put a screwdriver in there and just pry it out like that let's see if i can do this you're just gonna put that in there and you're just gonna wiggle it out There's a little pin in there once you get it most of the way you can just unplug that and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to re be replacing this tweeter with the new one. So we'll just put this to the side for now and then we'll go through that step. Okay, so all you're going to do is just pull the door out like this and then you're just going to lift it up. There's an edge there that it sits on. And then you can just, for now, just leave this like that. You need to unplug this, so you just press that button and pull that out. Pull that out of the way. And then these are just eight millimeter nuts. Speakers held them with clips so it's not going to fall out. So you don't have to worry about it falling out. Okay. And so the, there's a clip on the top here. There we go. I just used the bottom one. Once you get two of them, it's fine. And then it pops out. Holy cow, this thing's super light. You can see this is the factory. I think, I believe it's an 8 inch speaker. This one here is the Alpine DPS. It's a 6.5 inch speaker. Uh, again, woven carbon fiber thing super heavy you flip that over there's the magnet on that one but check out that tiny little magnet on that one this thing weighs almost nothing it just feels like plastic so this thing's going to be just amazing so let's go ahead we'll go and install this okay, so we're going to go ahead and mount these in there we'll just clip that into place I would put it in the locks on the bottom to start those clips and then turn it let's 
go ahead and put in the nuts. Okay, so now that we've got the speaker in, you can see I've put some foam padding around the plug and I've tied down this wire a little bit here as well, a little bit of deadening. So the way this goes on is there's a lip on the edge of the door that you put right here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is line up the pins and then snap it into place. Don't hammer it, You don't. there's no need. But a couple things you wanna make sure for is that the plugs that are on the doors are actually on the doors, not stuck in the holes. So if they're stuck in the holes, you need to take them out. So mine's all good. So all we're gonna do, put this up on the edge. And then check to see where the pin's going. It's just a little out. We'll just tap it over. There we go, I felt it fall into place. There we go. So now you can just snap it into place. And it's snapped and as you saw, I, don't, I didn't need to do any hammering or anything like that. If you get it lined up properly, there's no need to do that. So all we gotta do now is just put back the three nuts or three bolts. Now I recommend using a screwdriver like this, do it manually. You don't want to cross thread this. If it goes in sideways with a power drill, you're not going to catch it. And the last one goes on the side of the door. Last piece is the reflector. Again, on the reflector, there's a up. So this one's pointing up. So I just put it this way. I'm just gonna put it in the hole and snap it into place. So, window works, perfect. Okay, so as you can see here, and I'll show you how I wrap this foam, but I wrap the foam twice around the back edge of it and then snap this into place. And all we need to do is connect it. There we go, Just the wire down in there. And there's a clip here and here that you can see. And then this ledge that's right here goes underneath this piece. So that's what you need to make sure that you got. So get it up in there and then just snap it down. There we go. So I'll do the same on the other side, but let's go ahead and I'll show you how I built that tweeter. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off a piece of the foam that they provide. I've got a nice big chunk, that's all I need. And then that tweeter's held in there. It's just uh, held in with clips, so all you do is pry it open. There we go, so now it's popped out. Just go ahead and pull this out, so that's it there. And then 
So let's compare the two tweeters. So we'll look at the back. This is what it looks like here. And if we go there, that's what it looks like. Let's just make sure I've got it in frame. Okay, so all we need to do is um, this actually just slides around in there. It's too small. So what you can do is put two wraps of the foam in place. And so you can see there's like an edge here. I've, I put mine just on this side. So right there. And then I just wrap it around twice. It's gone a little bit one piece. And there it is. So then I just go ahead and snip it. And there's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to place this is this out of the way. Is this is going to go this way so the wires come out. And we're just going to go ahead and just tweak this in there as well. So we're just pushing it into place. And it is solid in there. It's not going to move. It's not, it's not basey. These are tweeters, so it's not going to rattle now or anything. So that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. And then, again, we just plug this cable into the door. And... We will be fine. So let me go ahead and put that in there. The first step in removing the or doing the front dash speakers is to remove this piece right here. We'll just put that pry piece in there. Pop it out. We just pull it out. It does have a little edge here that locks into here, so we take that out. So now, now that we've got this piece done, we're going to pull off the uh, bay pillar. So we're just going to reach underneath here, you can see, and we're just going to pop that off. And so as we pop this off, there's a little cable back here for the uh, airbag. You can just leave that there for now. So I'm just wiggling that out. Okay, so we have this off. So this is what's holding the uh, cover on and it just slides in here and it's got a locking mechanism where you just have to twist this. So we've got that out. So we'll just pull this out of the way and we'll do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll just pull off this panel on this side. There's the panel. And again, what you do is get the pry tool underneath here. There we go. Put it underneath, and you're just going to pry this off. Once you get the first clip undone, it'll be fine. There we go. There we go. So turn it like that. That pulls it halfway out of the lock, and then you just turn it back the other way. And it comes out. So when you're putting it back, you're going to put this piece in first and then you're going to twist it. All you're going to do is just reach up here and pull this piece up. As you go all the way across, There we 
we go. So it's just held in with clips. You're just going to lift it up and pull it out. Okay, so you can see there's the speakers right there. That's the right passenger side. This is the tough one right there. You can see right on the bottom, there's one screw that's really hard to get at. And then there's this one right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull those out. They're held in with a T15. Okay, so I did make a mistake. It's actually a T20 that's used. Again, I'm using the tool that they provided. Um, it's just a ratchet you can switch directions, so it works really well. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. There you go. There we go. Once you get it loose, you can get it by just hand tight. You can get in there. So you can see there, I'm just using my fingers to turn it. Once you get that out, there's the three. Now, I have heard the cables are pretty short, so we just have to get to the cable. And yeah, it's just like the LED light cables, they're really short. So um, what you're going to do, I'll get you a close up. What you do is you take a small screwdriver or something and you just put it in between those two. here and just push in there and that will there we go once you get it in there then it'll push that lock out and so you want to lose that so there you go so you've got the two speakers right here as I said we will compare the two um, this is a paper cone this is a woven Carbon, carbon fiber and then on the back there we go there's the uh, magnets there is a total difference there we go it's huge compared anyway let's go ahead and put this in you can see I actually put some of that foam on there so it's all done so I'm just gonna go ahead and install this it's gonna be straightforward Again, if you if we didn't get a good viewing of this, you can see here we go. Uh, and this up there, you can see this one is carbon fiber or woven carbon fiber. This is paper. I'm not going to do that on that one. They are a little bit bigger, uh, it looks like. But on the back, you can see this really doesn't have much of a magnet. But wow, look at that. That's that's massive compared to it, and it's a lot heavier. Um, I believe that the door speaker has a, a a magnet about this size. I know the subwoofer is about that size. I mean, I mean, look at those. Those are huge. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this last one in there and button up the whole thing. Yeah, I like that. So once again, we're just going to put the screws in. I'd recommend putting them in hand tight first, as best you can. I'm not going to go very far. There we go. Now we just get them close to being tight first. So we get them down at the same.
and make sure they feel that they're torqued at the same amount. And there you go, that's the first one done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the left speaker now. Again, we're gonna use the same tool. Now it is a bit of a reach, but that's okay. We can do this. Let's make sure you get the set to the right direction. We're just going to press it up into here. There we go. So again, there's a button on the side there, but you just can't get at it. And just unplug it. We'll go ahead and plug this in. And we're going to turn it so it goes like that. That's the way it's going to be. And then, once again, just get them so they're hand tight, so you know they're in the right place. That's what we want. And then we'll just tighten this up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the center one. You can see from there that this one's probably gonna be pretty easy. This one, definitely easy, but there's one hidden back there that will, if you didn't have this tool, it's gonna be very difficult. So let's go ahead and loosen this off. The rest of it by hand. Again, I've seen if people put like uh, window tint on there, I'd put some tape. Uh, I don't have window tint. It's against the law here in British Columbia. But if you have tint, then I would put uh, some painter's tape there just to protect the uh, tint. it on this one. Now yeah, this one's a little bit better. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and there we go. Pull that out. Okay, so same as the other ones. Um, they do have a nice long pigtail like this, so it makes it easy for plugging it in. You just got to make sure that when you do plug it in, since you don't want to take this apart, that when you do get it plugged in, it snaps like that. There we go. Once again, we're going to go ahead and put them in hand tight first. We've got the two, so we've got this one, and we've got that one. Let's go ahead and try and get this one in. Okay, so that one went in fairly easy, actually. And we'll just hand tighten that one as best we can. There we go, that looks pretty good.
Okay, so before I close this up, let's take a look here. We've got the speaker there, put in. Got the left one there. We've got the center speaker in. And then we've got the right speaker in. So the one thing when you're putting this in, let's take a look here. I'll try and point that out. You can see right here, there's these clips. This is where the, that's where the cover is gonna go on. If you press really hard, they're just gonna pop through. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on using the tool to put it back in. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place this in the right position. So we know that it's in the right position. And you're gonna tip it up like that so that you get the front edge all the way in on the, on the left and right. And then you're going to take this tool right here. Okay, so now that we've got this in, we'll reach through and we'll find where that first one is. It's right there. And you can see that it's not going in. What you're gonna do is just press forward on it. There we go. So the key is to not press too hard on them and to just line this piece up. So now we're just gonna go ahead and replace this uh, piece here. Now you just have to remember that I did disconnect this, so we need to put this back on. So that goes right here. And then this is just going to slide into there. So I'll get it somewhat into place. There we go. So now that that's locked in, we just need to get this piece in the right place. And there are some pins, so I'm just gonna wiggle this in. There we go. Looks like it's in the right place. go and to get the right spot clips right into place and then we're just going to put this piece on We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the driver's side. Pretty well get it in the right place. And then we're going to attach the airbag securing pin. There we go. And then we're just going to tuck that in, wiggle it.
There we go. Now it's in place. We're just going to line up the pins here at the top. Pull out that rubber, and then once it's in the right place, there we go. Okay, so now we're on to the subwoofer. So we've got the old subwoofer. Mine's actually got a dent in it. Uh, but again, this is just paper. This is uh, the S series of the Alpine. It has a massive, it's a four ohm, dual four ohm speaker. So what you're going to do is you can see on the top here, it has two holes. That's to line up at the top here. So we're gonna wanna put this like that. But before we do that, we're gonna put some of this foam, this foam here around the edges. And if we do, we won't be able to see these holes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark those holes just so I know where they are. Now you don't have to mark every one, but it doesn't really matter if I do or don't. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take off a nice big chunk of this. Uh, the one good thing is they actually gave us uh, two rolls of this and it's more than what we need. So I've, I haven't even touched the second one yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll just apply this on here. And we'll just run ourselves around the merry-go-round. Okay. And we'll go ahead and cut that there. And I have a little waste, no big deal. Grab another chunk. And we'll do the back side. We don't need to mark anything on this. Then we'll just cut off the excess. There we go. So now this will mount to the case and we'll have a little bit of sound cushioning there to stop any vibrations. And then when the speaker goes here, so once again, what we're looking at is the top is these two holes. So we're gonna go ahead and put it like that. So they give us a washer and a nut. So we'll go ahead and put that there. So we'll just get it started. Now, this is um, 3D printed, so you don't want to uh, tighten it too hard. It will get pretty snug, but you don't need to over tighten these. So I'll go ahead and put all these in and then we'll uh, get to the next step. Okay, so before we move on to the next step, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna wire these in. So the wiring pattern is blue, green, blue, green, black, red. So these are just push button. So blue, green, black, red. So that's that piece done. So we'll just push this to the side for now. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this subwoofer out. So what we're going to use is a T25. So we'll just pull this out. And we can just pull this out. There's the back of it. If you ever wondered what was inside here, it's just an empty case. It's pretty hollow. I was thinking of maybe putting some sow deadener in it, but there's ridges, so I really can't put anything in there. Um, maybe you could, I could stick it on the outside. So maybe I'll do that before I put it back. But let's go ahead and compare the two speakers now. As we've done with all the other speakers,
you've got this sub right here. So it's got some movement to it. It's a paper. It's really light. I mean, there's, there's almost no magnet to this. It does say that it supports two by 80, uh, yeah, so 280 watts, uh, two times four ohms. And then if we, so it's a, a dual voice coil. So there's the back of this one. So there you go. The, almost the size of the speaker compared to this one. And it's substantially heavier. This almost, it almost weighs nothing. So anyway, I'm going to go and put this one to the side. I'm not going to be using that anymore. And all we need to do is line up those pins that are in the top. But before we do that, we do have this cabling and where this wire goes here, this is what this black piece is to protect. So we're going to go ahead and place that. Let's see if we can get a better angle. So let's see how much I want sticking out. We want as much as possible. We don't need it inside. So there we go. That's what we're going to do. So bring it up to about there. So we're going to have quite a bit of cable out, but that's okay. So we place this here. And then all we're doing is putting that into the, those slots. And there we go. So there's where the wire is going to come out. And then we just plug into the uh, standard plug. So that's what it's going to look like. We'll go ahead and put these in. Again, before you use the power drill to put them all the way in, I would just get them started. Oh, they're not. I would just put them all in. So there we go. There we go. That's what it's going to look like. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this in the car. So I've had my upgraded stereo system for a few days now, and I just want to do a recap on it. Uh, so the install was fairly straightforward. Um, you can, I, I was able to complete it. I think originally I said it was going to take about an hour to hour and a half, but in reality, um, I was in no rush. Um, so with filming and everything, it probably took me about two and a half hours, possibly three, but Again, I was in no rush. I was just taking my time. I wanted to make sure I did it correctly. The door speakers were really straightforward. The tweeters in the doors were pretty straightforward. And the dash, um, thankful they sent me, or thankfully they sent me the tool plus the bit. Uh, again, it's a T20 um, to take out those speakers. So you just easily take them out, put the new ones in. Um, just got to be careful with the clips and putting everything back and just take your time. There's no rush. Um, but I tell you what, unfortunately I don't have a really good quality microphone. So if I actually played the before and after you wouldn't be able to tell, but I can tell you the bass is more, uh, punchy. It's got a lot of punch to it. It really sounds like good bass now. Uh, can really feel it in the back seats, the back of my seat. Um, the tweeters and the mid-range up on the dash, you, it's just crisp. That's all I, I don't even know how to explain. It just sounds amazing. You can actually hear like the directional of where the sound's coming from. Before it was a little bit muffled. Now it's just crisp and very, uh, you know, it sounds just amazing. The door speakers, um, they, again, they're a bit more punchier in the bass, but, um, yeah, I, I'm really surprised with the quality. But again, these are um, the highest end Alpine speakers that you can purchase, uh, DP series. These Alpine DP series speakers are just amazing. Anyway, I want to thank Hepa King for sending them out to me for review. Um, I've got the in my link, I've got the link to their website and... The way I explain it is they have kind of like three packages. Um, you can get just the dash, tweeters, and door speakers. And then you can get the subwoofer bracket and then purchase a subwoofer separately from Amazon. Again, that link's in the description. Or you can just buy the whole kit. Now, it's going to cost you a bit more because they actually ship that subwoofer 
uh, from the United States over to them and then they send it back to you. So they actually recommended that I let you guys know that if you want to purchase um, from them, they recommend the second kit, which is the whole, all the speakers with the brackets as well as a subwoofer bracket. And then just follow the instructions. They give you everything you need to do the install. Three hours later, you're going to have such an amazing sounding uh, system. It's well worth the effort and the cost. Anyway, I I hope you enjoyed the install. I, I, I hope you use it to learn how to install your own new set of speakers. If you're not interested in the Alpine speaker kit, they actually sell the adapters so that you can just go and purchase your own speakers. That could save you a few bucks. It's really dependent on where you want to go with this. Anyway, it just sounds amazing. I wish the back speakers were part of some kit as well. Um, the door speakers are like two and a half, so they're kind of useless. And then in the back deck, they're the same speakers that are on the front deck. So, I mean, you could purchase those and replace them, but they're from videos I've seen, they're a little bit difficult to to swap out. But I, I, you know, I would like to do that myself at some time in the future. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell so you'd be notified when I release other videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>